Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, July 21st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're somebody that uses charts within your trading to make decisions, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to make good, well-informed decisions as a trader, then this will be a video for you. And on that note, if you are new, and as I go through the video, just keep in the back of your mind that I do offer this free live class that I'm offering this Thursday. So if you're liking what you're hearing and you're seeing the value in using the tool of technical analysis to help make good decisions as a trader to build consistency, then I wanna just personally invite you to get signed up for this class, it's totally free. So if you're watching on YouTube, the link's down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, then just anywhere on the screen, you can click there and there'll be plenty of uh, places where you can click. So like I said, just keep that in the back of your mind. If you're liking what you hear, you wanna learn more, then get signed up for the class. I want to start off with ticker symbol SPY, which just is, uh, is an ETF that, you know, basically summarizes the entire S&P 500. So in other words, if you want to just have an idea of what's going on with the overall markets, then this is a great one that you can use. And I did this in the video from Monday and I talked about, yeah, Monday was a big gap down. Yeah, there's a bunch of bearish headlines coming out there. However, I made the comment about I was skeptical because, well, I mean, the price has been down around that purple line there, the 50 period moving average many, many times before. And you know, not that things couldn't have gotten bad, but you also don't wanna just think that, okay, just because there's one big gap down that it's end of the road. And you're seeing right now that today, what a very strong move and the power of charts. Are charts perfect? No, nothing is perfect, but I mean, what a just, what a random area for the price to all of a sudden get a great bounce, literally right off that purple line, which has happened time and time and time before. So moving forward, there's still work that needs to be done. Obviously it's not back up at highs or anything like that. Of course the price could, you know, roll back over. But as of right now, it goes to show that, yeah, I'd be very skeptical of being too bearish while the price is still maintaining above that purple line. So that 50 day moving average is gonna be that main level that a lot of people are watching, rightfully so, because as you saw here, literally did a fantastic job of showing that, yeah, Monday was rough, but you know, you, you gotta be skeptical of that. And you can see here that the price bounced very nicely from it. So point here being moving forward. Uh, yeah, the bears are maybe still lurking around out there, but as long as the price is above that purple line, you still have to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Next one here, ticker symbol AMC. And what a big move today. Talked about how, you know, the bounce started on Monday and got a whole lot of follow through here. I should note that the chart we were just looking at for SPY, that was the daily chart, meaning each one of these candlesticks represented an entire day. But now we're looking at, and we will continue to look at the 30 minute time frame for the remainder of the charts, meaning just each one of these represents, instead of one day, each one represents 30 minutes. And really, as of now, I, I'm stating the obvious, another very nice move. I, I realize, okay, yeah, no, no kidding. But the big question mark, the big dynamic going forward, and this is not some sort of great discovery on my part, and this is one of these areas where even if you have a basic surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of this level. That level being the very famous 200 period moving average, which on my chart is denoted by that pink line there, currently valid at, let's just call it $45. So in other words, everybody and their brother uncle moving forward is gonna be watching $45 because it is that 200 period moving average. And that is gonna be by far the main area of resistance moving forward. Now, if there are any other sort of pullbacks, you know, the preferable area that you'd wanna see the price now continue to stay above is gonna be that $39 mark. Now, if the price drops below 39, does that mean that the entire chart's destroyed? I'm not saying that at all. But yeah, preferably speaking in terms of, you know, what would give this the healthiest looking consolidation, staying above 39 would accomplish that. But yeah, definitely all eyes on $45 moving forward. So let's see if the price can get the break of it as this bounce continues. Next one here, ticker symbol NURO, and just what an absolutely monster here. Huge move up with volume, and then the price has behaved very nicely, including giving a good solid little consolidation here this afternoon. So you don't have to have any worries about, you know, are you chasing the price? Case in point, people that were buying right there, they still may be okay, but they're, they're definitely very nervous right now because yeah, they, they did chase the price, but now that the price is pulled back, you know, it's given us a nice little pattern here. So let's get this pattern here drawn up to get the, oops, let's try that. Again, get the support part of the pattern drawn up right there. And actually, let me change that to green to represent more of a bullish dynamic of the pattern. So there's the support pat, pat, uh, portion of the pattern, just a nice uptrending trend line there. And then as far as areas of resistance are concerned, give or take, in my mind, it's going to be right up there around that $11.25 mark. And then to finish off the pattern, just draw the pull portion. And then for you golfers out there, for visual sake, put the golf hole down there. So in other words, what we have is a bull pull pennant. Um, so bull pennant here moving forward. And like I said, it's just gonna be a question of, all right, can the price get back up to the top part of that pattern right around 1125? And then of course, can the price break above it? And if it doesn't, or if it does, you know, no guarantees, but you know, it's self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. When a bunch of people are watching the same pattern and the same breakout level, and then it breaks, 
Sometimes people just buy Wolf just because, hey, it's broken. I'm a breakout player. Therefore, I'm going to buy. So like I said, bull pennant is the best way to look into that moving into Wednesday here. But anyway, look at it. Great looking pattern. Let's see how it goes on Wednesday. Next one here, ticker symbol TSLA Tesla. Very, very impressive move, especially when you factor in the opening part of the day, that big 30 minutes there gap up. Price came all the way down there. So that opening 30, 30 minutes, things were looking pretty shaky, uh, but things leveled off and then had a very, very strong afternoon. But like AMC, all eyes are going to be on that pink line there, which again is that very famous 200 period moving average as the main breakout area. So we'll just call its value $663. So that'll be the main battleground to watch very closely. 663, by far that key level of resistance. And then like AMC, as far as pullback areas are concerned, uh, preferably speaking, if the price can now stay up above the 650 mark, that would be best case scenario. Again, if the price falls below 650, does that mean Tesla is destroyed? I'm not saying that, but as far as, you know, a healthy looking consolidation, certainly staying above 650 would get that accomplished. So watch these couple levels moving forward. But yeah, no, no doubt about it. Pretty crazy to think that just a couple of days ago, Monday morning price was down there. Now all of a sudden it's all the way up there. So let's see if the price can continue to build upon this momentum. Next one here, ticker symbol NAKD, really came to life here and a, a relatively popular ticker out there, but volume came pouring back in and we got ourselves a very solid pattern. Uh, so again, there's no worries of chasing, the price has pulled back uh, and now the price, you know, with a very strong afternoon has actually started to return back upwards, but it's still within the consolidation area here. So let's just get a couple of these main areas mapped out. First area, just from the, the support part of things, gonna pop, map out right there. And let me change that to green to represent the bullish dynamic. And then as far as the area of resistance is concerned, in my mind, at least that main area gonna be right up there at the 60 cent mark. And then again, we'll get the, the pull part of the pattern drawn in. So there you go. We'll put the golf hole down there. So bull pennant, some people might argue it's a bull flag pattern, but I mean, those are, those are just basically words. The point here being is, you know, the psychology of the pattern, the psychology is this, huge move up. Now it's been just consolidating out here a little bit, taking a breath, which brings about the question of, okay, is this just a simple breath before the thing explodes upwards? Or I don't know, maybe this thing is gonna run out of gas. There's no guarantees, but the pointer being is, uh, the story here is very straightforward. There's been a big move, there's been big volume. And it seems like, like I said, the price is making another go up at that 60 cent mark. So that'll be the main breakout point here on Wednesday. But overall, very interesting looking pattern. Next one here, ticker symbol SNDL. And this was looking very, very rough, but to give credit where credit's due, the price was able to finally you know, level out here. And then even today started to work its way back upwards, which brings about the more than valid question of, okay, is life back? Are the bulls gonna make another nice move here? There's still a whole lot of work to be done, but like I said, the point here being is the step one has been completed. This very stubborn area of resistance, which you can see over the past several days, has rejected the price time and time and time again, including today, however, this afternoon is where the price is actually broken above that level. So a breakout has started, yes, but the question now is, okay, is this the start of something much bigger? Or in you know, kind of technical jargon, is this breakout gonna get continuation? Or is this just gonna be some one day wonder where, yeah, the price acted like it's gonna break out and then just play a cruel joke. That all remains to be seen. So yeah, the breakout has already occurred, but not much, right? The price has just barely gotten above that level. So if this thing does have you know some true strength behind it, does have some genuine momentum, uh, then, you know, this thing could definitely pick up quite a bit of strength, including potentially getting all the way up to that pink line there, which again, hopefully it's ringing the bell. That famous 200 period moving average currently valid at 88 cents. But like I said, the main dynamic here is the price is leveled off. The price has now gotten a little miniature breakout, but can this breakout get more continuation? Let's see what happens on Wednesday. Next one here, ticker symbol NRBO. And it, the chart's hanging in there. I, I really struggled. Do I really want to put this one on the ch chart? But I feel like this is one where it, it can almost trick you, making you think that it's game over. Because yes, the price made a huge move all the way up there and then had just a brutal afternoon. Brutal afternoon. But the thing here is what's interesting is this one had a nice opening 30 minutes, then just consolidated for basically the entire morning. And then early afternoon, kaboom, up it went. And all of a sudden it's acted like it wants to be done again. So is this gonna be a case of deja vu where the price behaves like this and all of a sudden goes back up? That all remains to be seen, but to be totally fair, maybe this is finally game over, but a very solid and very straightforward level of support has now been put into play right there at $3.80. So if the price does break below 380, you know, that would be breaking down below uh, you know, these lows here that it's seen from earlier in the day. And then also puts it into pretty much kind of a no man's land as far as the chart is concerned with the next level, not until essentially that gap close location around the $3 mark. So I'm not saying that it would drop straight down to three, but point here being that would just put the price into this area where, you know, there just really isn't that many more data points. So it kind of becomes very shaky at that point. However, if the price does decide to want to turn itself around, a very well-defined area of resistance 
right there at four dollars and fifty cents you can see that was a resistance there and then once again so if the price can turn itself around and get up through there i mean no guarantees but to, to think that maybe makes another run up to 550 and above uh that seems reasonable given you know how fast this one can move uh, but you got to be careful with these ones because to be fair, yeah, maybe this pullback is not a pullback and it'll turn into a reversal. But let's see how the next couple of days play out. Next one here, ticker symbol ENDP and very impressive movement today. Got the big opening 30 minutes right there. Explosion in volume and price. And then you continue to grind upwards and then got a bit of a pullback here. Uh, so, you know, again, along the lines of, all right, well, all right, do you have to worry about chasing? No, these people up here, they were the chasers. But now that the price is pulled back. Uh, you know, you can get a much more reasonable risk first reward entry. Uh, the pullback point here that, uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. going can be right down there around the $4 mark. Uh, you know, it may not go down to $4, but even if it did, so if the price came down to four and then, you know, just kind of hovered around right there. I mean, think about what that would be giving you. That would be giving you a nice set of lows right here. You'd compare that to the previous set right there and you envision those as stair steps. And overall, the stair steps would still be plenty, uh, you know, moving in the upwards direction. So that would still be a completely healthy pullback. Now, again, I, I realize there's perspective here, a day trader and you bought right there. Then yeah, you don't want to see the price going all the way down there. That would seem like a very, very big pullback. But like I said, taking a step back and looking at things from the bigger picture, that would still present a perfectly healthy consolidation. So keep an eye on four as that uh, main area of support. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, if the price does try to head back up, $4.50 will be that main area right there. But yeah, no doubt about it. Big volume today. Good to see that the price can not only move, but move very quickly. And we'll see if there's more uh, momentum left over the next couple of days. Next one here, ticker symbol ARDX. Now for this, because of the big move down, I'm gonna squeeze this chart all the way over here just so we can make it a little bit easier to see. So there we go. And the key dynamic here is, yeah, it was a rough overall day, but you also have to give credit where credit's due to think that at one point the price was all the way down there and then managed to close all the way up there. That was a very impressive bounce. Now the big question moving forward is, all right, well, but is there any sort of true power behind this bounce? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some kind of, you know, knee jerk, jerk reaction, you know, dead cat bounce? which is why I would say that this is a very important area of support moving forward right here at the $1.91 mark. Just because I'm not saying this is what's gonna occur, but if the price were to go down to $1.91 and then just continue on down, what would you then have at that point? You would quite literally have the price having gone right back to where it was. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but prices that you know make a great bounce, great move upwards, and then all of a sudden the price is right back to where it was. Not exactly a sign of true strength, but if the price does come down here, behaves like that and then turns itself around. Well, at least at that point, you'd still have a set of lows right there. You'd have lows down there. And if you envision those as stair steps, you'd still have stair steps making progress in the upward direction. And that's what you want to see. That's going to be the name of the game. And then as far as areas of resistance are concerned, key level to watch moving forward, going to be right there around the 208 mark. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, very interesting setup just because of how nasty it was to start, but then with how nice of a bounce it was. So yeah, can this bounce continue to build upon itself? Let's see what happens. Next one here, ticker symbol NVFY, and fantastic setup, mainly just because the breakout point is so clear. Uh, so I'm not trying to come across like this is a great discovery, like I have some sort of special talent. I assure you, people, even with basic you know, uh, you know, know, chart understanding, are going to be able to say, hey, look, I noticed that the price on two separate occasions, both there and there, got up to 460 and then got rejected back down. So from a breakout perspective, well, yeah, if the price can work its way up there and get a breakout, does that guarantee anything? No. Does it make it rational to think that, you know, a break of 460, especially if it's on high volume, could create a whole lot more uh, upwards momentum, even if it is just a self-fulfilling prophecy of a breakout itself? Yeah, it absolutely is. And the good news is, is the price is not that far at all away from that $4.60 mark, given it closed at 450. And you got to love the fact that it, it's shown already that it can move and it can move very quickly. Got to like that it was able to pull back, consolidate, but then return back upwards from the consolidation. So now it's just a question of, okay, are all the people that wanted to sell out, you know, did the people kind of get fooled? Oh, bailing out, bailing out, huh, just kidding. And we're going back up. So that's really the main question is, was this a healthy pullback and now continue, you know, moving back upwards to get continuation through 460. That'll be the main dynamic. And then I squeeze this down. You can see that there's quite a bit of more upside perspective. So a 460 falls next level, not until up around the $5 mark. And then things be able to, you know, begin to space out that much more. And then to end on this, Again, this one has already shown that it can move and it can move very, very quickly. Um, so not just a question, all right, it started to move again, but is this movement gonna get that much crazier? Let's see how it plays out. And that's gonna wrap up the top 10 here. And as a friendly reminder, once again, just wanna personally invite you that if you did enjoy what you saw, if you do wanna learn more about how to use uh, charts as a tool to form good trade plans, to build consistency as a trader, then like I said, get signed up for this free class that I'm offering this Thursday. 
July 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's always the important part, so Eastern. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you'll learn the philosophy behind charts, how they should be used, how they shouldn't be used, why they work, why they so are so powerful. And, uh, you know, there's a whole lot more that you will get uh, learn uh, from that. So definitely get signed up. And then as far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you would like for me to continue to make them, then do two things for me, please. Hit that like button, leave a comment, even if it's just a smiley face emoji. But those two things communicate to me that this is worth my time. And as long as I know that making these videos in this format is worth my time, then I'll continue to do that. So again, in order to communicate that to me, hit the like button, leave a simple comment down below. And then again, I'd like to invite you to get signed up for that class if you're interested in learning more about the tool of charts and how to build consistency with them. So everybody take care. Have a good one.